Chase the Moon, our final Chase the Moon, um, and she came and did her first official 5k race. So it's really good to see you there. You both look super happy, and it looks like you had a great race. So massive well done for coming along, and we'll hope to see you again soon. Awesome. On to next, we have lovely Juliet, who joined us again at Hampton Court Palace and did a sub two hour half marathon, which is a great achievement. Whether you do it over or not, it's fine, but under. Nice to get yeah. that mark, isn't it? So it's a solid effort. Yeah, well done. Yeah, massive well done. Again on Hampton Court Palace Road, so massive well done to you. And last but not least, we had Liam here who went to the Wolverhampton 10K and also what a great shot there. And it's also good really to see all of the Wolverhampton 10K shots because what an iconic place to be. And this was his first ever 10K event, but I know that uh, you are training for a half marathon, so you said you've got a PB for the 10K distance, and you did this in a 55.02. So absolutely smashed it, and best of luck for your half, and we hope to see you again for another race soon. Woohoo! So uh, we have loads and loads of events coming up this week as well. So we have Battersea Park 5K and 10K on the Saturday. I will be there, so make sure you give us a wave. Um, we're also at the Richmond Park Half Marathon event on Sunday, a nice trailing event, and uh, hopefully it won't be too wet for you out there, but get the trail shoes ready, I would say. Uh, so best of luck if you're there and then also in the north we have the wonderful Nantwich 10k which is in, an incredible place to to do i believe it's one of our newest of, of the events that we have up there so best of luck if you will be joining us of course we have some wonderful medals to go with those events which we will love to show you of course we don't have the northern one but we have the southern events okay so up first we have got our battle seat point and there. Nice purple ribbon for that one. Glorious. And this one, I think this one's one of my favourites actually. This is our Richmond Park half marathon one. Nice little deer one, nice wooden one for nice and change. Mm. So if you're coming along, get these metal kicks in. Yeah, definitely. And it's a nice wooden theme for our Richmond Trail event, which is always really, really cool. Nice sustainable medal. Let us know your thoughts. Also drop us a message below if you are running with us and give us a tag at Run Through UK, hashtag Run Through UK if you're racing, because we'd love to see yes, you on the Wall of Fame and we'd also just love to see how you're getting on. So yeah, let us know. It'd be good to see you there. We have a couple of bits uh, to remind you on our Run Through News. So of course I mentioned this last week and I've probably mentioned it two or three times before that but we want to just send another reminder about the London Marathon cheer point that we will be having as it is coming up very very soon. So on uh, the London Marathon day we will be between miles 19 and 20 and it's just opposite the Brew Dog pub if any of you do know that. Um, so if you are running make sure you spot us on the left, give us a wave if you're there and also if you're looking to cheer and would like to join us then definitely drop us a message either by email or even on our run through chat page on Facebook or you can even just drop me a message because I will be there and uh, we'll be cheering all the runners on including the wonderful Abby who will be running her first ever marathon so yeah best of luck what 
tips are you going to give anyone else who's also new to running the marathon distance? Oh, so I would say one that I have stuck to, do not put too much pressure on yourself. Just go out and have fun. And everyone has told me you've done it. Just enjoy the atmosphere, which is what I'm going to try and do. And just get round. My aim is just to finish. So I just say, go out, enjoy it. Like it's London Marathon, you might only get to do it once in your life. Exactly. So enjoy it. And I will be trying to do the same. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure you will. I was lucky enough to, to run a London last year and it is all about the atmosphere. And so that's yeah, definitely a great pointer to anyone else who's nervous. Just think about the crowds that are out there. Think about your friends and family and also us that will be there with the run through team. It is a really fun day. And once you're there, You've done all the miles, so it's just a case of doing that victory lap on the day. So best of luck if you're joining us. And if you're nervous, do not worry. I am too, but it's going to be fun. Yeah. And nervous means you're ready. So yeah. we're in it together. We're fine. There we go. I heard it from the woman herself. <laughs> and just one other little bit of news that we've got. I mentioned earlier that we had our last Chase the Moon, and we're now moving into Chase, Chase the, the Sun. sun. So hopefully we have lots more sun on our evenings. Uh, join us for a few of the events that are coming up. We have a few across the year. So just make sure that you join us. Give us the hashtag Chase the Sun. I was going to say Chase the Moon then. We're, we're done with Chase awesome. the Moon. Uh, so again, we'll see you at the next one. But of course, we're going to finish off with a wonderful quote. We won't cheer your ear off anymore. So we have picked this wonderful quote to see if you guys could resonate. The only time you run out of chances is when you stop taking them. So hopefully you can see that there. We'll repeat that once more. The only time you run out of chances is when you stop taking them. That's a good one. I like yeah. that. What are your thoughts, Ebony? I think you, yeah, you've got to go for it. Like, I debated deferring the London Marathon not gonna lie, for a year, but if you don't take the chance, you're never going to know. So Exactly. Just go for it. Take the chance and do it now. Exactly. Wise words. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So best of luck if you're running or racing with us this weekend and also best of luck to anyone running London Marathon but also Brighton Marathon that's this weekend. There's plenty of big marathons happening so again let us know what you're training for, be good to know and we'll see you next week. See you later guys, bye!